Hey, what's going on, everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Today, I've got another Fallout topic to talk about, so without further ado, let's get straight into it. So, there's been some people concerned that Bethesda might actually be selling cut content on the Creation Club, and the reason why this is concerned a lot of people is we already know about the no uh, notable prices that the Creation Club has on Fallout 4, usually being quite overpriced and a lot of people not liking it, but We've actually got a sneak peek of a new creation that a lot of people have been talking about. And the reason is because this creation that they decided to sneak peek was actually cut content. Now, what it is, it's called Take Back Quincy. And basically what it is going to be is a mission on where you're going to have to go to Quincy and obviously defeat all the gunners that are going to be there. And I would presume take uh, um, take it as a new settlement for the Minutemen. And yeah, obviously you'd be able to send some of your settlers to there. Now, this does sound like a very good idea, but it's something that we might sh and we might and most likely should be getting for free. It was actually cut content. This game was cut from the game, which means Bethesda have actually made all of this and is most likely in the game file somewhere. And literally from like a click of the button, Bethesda could most likely just put this into the game. And yeah, obviously it most likely would be unfinished for it to be into the game. But um, this is where a lot of people are getting confused about and where the interesting thing comes in. If it was unfinished, obviously, Bethesda would have to take some time to finish it, and then they'd put it into the Creation Club, but what I saw some people theorizing, and even you guys commenting it in my comment section, so, yeah, obviously, I do read them, guys, and yeah, get active down there, but, yeah, a lot of people are theorizing that Bethesda actually deliberately didn't put this into the game and a couple other cut content because they potentially want to release it for DLC and potentially release it as now obviously the Creation Club, they're going to potentially release it for this. Now, I do believe this to be half and half of a fact and half and half to not be real. Yes, I think they could have left some stuff out to leave it as DLC, but I don't think there was any way they planned for the Creation Club to ever happen. I mean, the Creation Club came out like one and a half to two years after the actual game from Remembrance, so I don't think it really had anything to do with that, but yeah, I think some content may have been cut out for DLC, and hopefully, I would very much like to see some cut content come to the Creation Club, but I don't want it to be overpriced at all. If you guys didn't know, there was actually some cut content that I think of making a video on separately, where it was actually an underwater vault. That sounds absolutely awesome, something they probably should have added to the game, or maybe even added it as a bonus to, you know, the Far Harbor DLC, including it into the Wasteland and the story that had happened there. It would be really cool to see this come to the Creation Club, and if it would be cool if it was a mini DLC, I'd happily pay 10 bucks for, you know, all the, that underground vault, and potentially a bunch of new quests that they had unfinished, but potentially half of them were finished, half of them were. I would pay 10 bucks for a bit of a storyline and quest line, and... Yeah, I wonder if they recorded voice acting and all that stuff for it. If they had, again, I would be happy to pay 10 bucks for all of that stuff. But is, if there is none of that stuff and it just maybe adding, you know, an underwater vault or something, I wouldn't anywhere pay 10 bucks for anything like that. Well, I probably would for, you know, a video purpose, but I wouldn't expect, you know, people to do it. And I don't think really anyone would really want to do it as well. Now... Obviously, yeah, I think Bethesda need to control their prices on this stuff, but yeah, this has caused some outrage of Bethesda potentially reselling cut content to the game. It would have obviously been really nice if they released maybe a $15 to $20 pack in like 2016 or 2017 of a bunch of different cut content they actually had planned for the game. They could have added all this Quincy stuff in there. They could have added all the settlements that they didn't add into the game. They could have added the underwater vault. They could have added all those weapons that didn't make it into the game. All of that stuff, that would have been absolutely awesome. Instead, we're getting it in most likely a lot overpriced stuff one by one type of things in the creation club. Yes, I do like the idea, but again, as long as it's not overpriced, if it's overpriced, it's going to ruin it. And yeah, a lot of people aren't going to experience the fun because a lot of people aren't going to buy it, which will probably be a statement to Bethesda saying lower the prices. Now, don't get me wrong. I do think the creation club is very underrated and the prices aren't as bad as everyone thinks it are because of the reason that half of that profit also goes to modders as well, which is really cool to support modders. But I don't expect to see something very big size and all of that stuff. And obviously, we're getting our first ever actual mini DLC coming to the Fallout 4 Creation Club with the Fallout 3 Remastered mini pack that they're going to be releasing. 
however much money that's going to be, but if recent, you know, Creation Club indications have been any hints, it's probably going to be like 10 bucks or something. I'm going to pay the 10 bucks for it or whatever it's going to be. I just hope that it is going to be worth the play and I won't be wasting my money at all. And I hope there's going to be some good stuff in it. Again, I think this is going to be really a future, you know, a future decision on how many people buy this and whether or not Bethesda are going to release quite a bit of cut content. So, yeah, it's going to be very interesting again to see the cut content. I do hope they eventually add the underwater vault as like um, some cut content into the Creation Club. It would be nice. Again, I just hope it isn't overpriced. But, yeah, there's going to be quite a bit of missions that they actually had planned for that underwater vault thing. Don't actually know how much pe how much missions they actually got done through. Obviously, in the game files, there was actually a squid in there and in the um, game files as well. And you can even see it around Fallout 4 sometimes, but it's obviously dead. It's like this mini type of whale thing, which is a mutated ghoul whale. And there's even um, some uh, random uh, NPCs that sometimes talk about it in um, Bunker Hill, I think it's called. I think it's called that. I can't actually remember. I haven't played... Uh, Fallout 4 in quite a while. I think it's called Bunker Hill. I hope it is. But yeah, there's some NPCs in there. Some caravan workers that I think actually will talk about it too. All those different animals and stuff and creatures and NPCs that they didn't add that were most likely coming with that underwater vault. Um, that would be really cool if they added it. And the ver different variant of the harpoon gun. Obviously, they did put a harpoon gun in Far Harbor. But there was actually a harpoon gun, I'm pretty sure, which was a, di a different variant that they had planned to come out with this underwater vault thing. So, yeah, it would be so cool if we could potentially get that. And I am on board for cut content coming to the Creation Club. I mean, I just want the content. I don't care if I have to pay for it. Um, I just hope it's not very much overpriced. And I get that, you know, they're going to have to pay mod creators too. But I don't think really any mod is going to be working on this cut content. I mean, I think it's all going to be Bethesda. So... Yeah, it's going to be really interesting to see what's going to happen here and how Bethesda handle this. Again, I just hope they don't make it overpriced. But anyway, I wanted to thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for all the latest gaming and Fallout content. Don't forget to comment in the comment section down below what are your thoughts and opinions on Bethesda doing um, this and adding cut content to the Creation Club. Do you guys think it's a good idea or do you guys think it's a bad idea? And definitely tell me why you think it's a good or bad idea. I definitely would really like to know your thoughts and opinions down below. Is it because you think it's overpriced or do you guys just want to see some new content come to the game and potentially some mini DLC? I definitely would really like to know your thoughts and opinions down below. So make sure you guys leave a like, subscribe and comment and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.